So George, you and me and anybody else who has to operate in this business hears continually and has heard basically since the turn of the century that the situation has gotten worse for composers of music for motion pictures. And I'll just put that all under the umbrella mm -hmm. category of motion pictures, even though for you and me, our experience, our expertise is with film. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know that's true. I know that fees have dropped, that work conditions are often considerably harder. The timeline within which a composer has to deliver the product has shrunk. Um, and the competition has increased. But I'm wondering, from your perspective, being out there, working with composers and filmmakers, and sort of taking the pulse of the industry, has anything good come out of this? Can we take anything positive from this? Mm. That's a seriously good question. <laughs> it needs a, either a very long, complicated answer, or uh, we have to pause and for me to think what to answer, because it's, things are so, they're changing so fast, and not necessarily for the better in terms of, as you said, of conditions, how well-paid or underpaid composers are, and how but, you know, the common triangle of cheap, good, fast has almost become the norm by right. now. And it's very hard for me now to, to pause and think, has there anything good, you know, uh, happening as, as an outcome all these you years? You make I an interesting say, point, because we always used to say cheap, good, fast, yeah, pick, can't, can't pick happen. two. Yeah. You can't have all three, but now they want all three, don't they? Now it's because of, uh, you know, everything we are experiencing on the music side of the business. Uh, the first people that they experienced it were in the filmmaking side of the business. So if technology changes because then cinema changes or TV, how films and series are produced with what kind of technology and how high quality and with the new tools they are having, equally soon after music technology follows and how quickly and great quality music can be delivered like no one could, ha could have delivered maybe 20 years ago one hour of music, good quality music, even mock-ups in a weekend. Right now, maybe one composer and two assistants can sit down and put it out there because it is demanded from the network, from whoever. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's a result of cinema and TV production has changed. Therefore, if you want to keep up and be part of the process, you have to be equally good and fast. And uh, I think that the cheap factor is a result of uh, many different parameters. Like they can't as easily, there is too much content produced, produced right now. They cannot as easily raise funds for everything uh, from different sources like before and uh, they prefer to invest it in so many other things they didn't have to before right. than invest it in music. And by now, like, what the heck? You have your laptop and your MIDI keyboard, you can make music a lot faster and better sounding than before. So why do you need 50,000? You can do the same thing with 15. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the, good, the good only outcome, I would say, is that although all these, yeah, not good conditions exist, in the marketplace. It is the first time in history we have so much production. You have so many films, so many series, advertisements, video games, you name it. So there are too many, we, we could have said until a few years ago, way too many composers out there, not that many gigs maybe. Maybe that's not true anymore. Mm -hmm. But still, it's the people that are doing the best job either as great art or as great uh, music production content, uh, that they really make it in the end. Yeah. And they have a consistency of quality and consistency of following up with the industry. We're often told that uh, fortune rises from the ashes of misfortune. Mm -hmm. That um, in many industries, the winning companies sort of emerge from some previous disaster or mi miscalculation. And I'm looking for reasons to be optimistic because mm -hmm. I have to be in front of these aspiring film composers every single day mm -hmm. and try and somehow keep fuel in their engines and keep them from being 
discouraged by the enormous odds against their success. So I'm looking for things that have improved. Now, on a lot of levels, composers seem to have lost bargaining power compared to what they had 20, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to ask you about on the publishing side, has the fact that fees have dropped so dramatically, that work schedules have been compressed so dramatically, given composers any more leverage with respect to ownership mm -hmm. of the music? Oh, yes. I think, and since I started the business, that hasn't changed because it was, either way, you're dealing with low budget stuff to, okay, decent budget, but still the music budget is not extreme. Except if you are really doing a multi-million euro dollar uh, project. Uh, I think because they, they shifted from this is the composer's creative fee and these are the music production costs, the recording costs, a different number that we are giving. They, they joined both into a package deal that it existed before, but now it is the norm. It's, you right. will only get a package deal. And uh, that, I was even saying to the students today, it has, uh, it has the two benefits of, okay, the budgets are lower, but at least you can sort of navigate the situation yourself because of the technology at the same time. You can decide, okay, I will record that many instruments to have a better sound, uh, and I will invest that much money, so I don't have necessarily to invest all the money into recording an orchestra and whatnot. So you can have a financial control of the adequate or small fee you, you received. And at the same time, you have a leverage into saying, you are not paying me that much to create what number of minutes of music for your project, therefore I have to own it. It's, if right. you are not paying me on the upfront that much, how should I survive uh, except just waiting for a good amount on the back end, hopefully.